What's up everybody, Super Dukes fan here for another car review. This is of course the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Huge, huge thanks to Tom Henry Chevrolet for providing me with not only a manual, but also an automatic Camaro SS to review for you guys today. So about the brand new Camaro, uh, obviously restyled here for 2016 and looks amazing. Today was the first day that I ever saw it in person and man, does it look pissed off. I mean, it's really a mean look. And uh, it is a little bit of an evolutionary design. You know, it's not radical from the previous version but I thought the previous one looked great as well and I didn't think it could really get any meaner and then I saw this and I'm like wow it's really something to behold especially in person and on the road it just looks so menacing. It kept all the great things about the previous generation Camaro you know you still have these very skinny little side windows and windshield and rear window all the windows are very small and it just looks so mean going down the road and uh, just I think it's an actually spectacular design I mean you have all these nice little details too like the creases in the hood and uh, just how pointy the front bumper is and everything it's just so cool from so many different angles. Right so for the interior of the 2016 Camaro it is impressive. So first things first, sitting down in these seats, these seats are some of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. They may actually be more comfortable than the Cadillac CTS that I reviewed. So they are at least Cadillac comfortable. I mean, super soft leather, very supple. It's perforated really, really nice. Uh, the bolstering is also very good as well. Uh, you know, a little bit of wiggle room there, but just enough to really hold you in and still be comfortable absolutely marvelous seats. I love these seats. Next is the steering wheel in the Camaro, which is really great. Now it's a much smaller wheel than the previous Camaro and uh, other competitors, and it feels amazing as well. Perfect nine and three grip. I mean, nice little cutouts here for your thumbs. Little 10 and two notches. You got a flat bottom. Again, beautifully leather wrapped. Uh, you got some buttons on it here, but it's not overwhelming. You do have the rev match paddles here as well. Um, so that, you know, it turns on and off rev matching kind of like the uh, new Corvette have and uh, but otherwise just I'm, it's a spectacular wheel I really love the way it feels next is the gauges in the Camaro which are really nice uh, I think the analog uh, font could be a little more exciting looking but uh, the best thing about it is that huge color display right there in the middle that gives you all kinds of cool information uh, you know you have G meters you have uh, you have the speed limit you have you know obviously a digital speedometer all your other auxiliary gauges that are all digital now as well which is very cool to have and uh, you can even display your navigation map in there and just a very useful and uh, very nicely integrated display. Coming over to the shifter here, it's a really nice. Uh, I love the, the shift knob is very nice, but uh, the placement is really good too because you have your armrest right here you can rest on while you're shifting uh, and the shifter feels really nice here, just obviously sitting in a parking lot, but it's very nice and notchy, but very positive feeling. It's not too heavy, not too light, just right. Come along to the center of the dashboard here, it's really cool. So you have this great concave uh, dashboard design that I've always liked here in the Camaras, looks really great. Uh, and then a really cool, unique thing that I've never seen car before is the uh, Chevrolet MyLink system here which is an 8 inch touchscreen a very great system by the way but it's tilted downward a little bit so you get, you kind of eliminate some of the glare from the sun because it is a glossy display um, you do get some reflection from the shifter and things like that down here but uh, I think it's actually a really cool idea to have it like that and it's very beautiful colors very responsive um, to touch and the great thing is it now has the Apple CarPlay and uh, also Android Auto of course uh, if you have your phone plugged into there and that makes it a whole a lot more usable as well for those that have smartphones and um, it's just a really nice system you can also customize cool things like the interior lighting uh, and there's all kinds of cool modes you know, there's a show mode you can have it so it changes colors based on your driving mode you have it in really a cool little system there and you can change it to just about any color of the rainbow so very cool to have that as well coming down to the climate control area here it's really nice you have some uh, piano black finishes here for the heated and cooled seating controls uh, and you know you have uh, you know just your basic buttons but the really clever thing this is a genius idea is that this knob around these center vents is actually what controls uh, the temperature so it's all just combined right in there so instead of having a separate knob it's very efficient packaging and just a really genius idea to have that by the way this uh, trim here is super nice uh, metal and really high quality and everything in here really feels high quality I mean yes you still have some cheaper plastics around the shifters and things like that but I mean you have lots of soft points here up on the doors and uh, everything is just really a lot more higher quality than the previous version as far as storage space in the Camaro it's never been its strong suit and it hasn't been much improved here from the new versions so you have time 
tiny little map pockets here on the doors that aren't really useful for much. Uh, and then you have uh, just your power outlet here. You have uh, two smaller cup holders that are nicely illuminated though as well. And then you have the center armrest, which is uh, covered in some smooth leather here, but it's not super soft, but it's soft enough to rest your elbow on without uh, having any pain in your elbow. Uh, but anyway, you open that up and you have uh, some shallow little uh, two cubbies here. Can't fit too much in there to be honest, um, but you know, it's enough for a few things. Uh, you do have two USB ports there as well as an auxiliary jack. And um, so it's nice to have those in there as well. And that's what you'll need to uh, use the Apple CarPlay and whatnot. Uh, and then another cool thing is you have this uh, wireless charging pad behind uh, the center console here, which is very cool. And uh, you know, so if you have a smartphone equipped for that, that is uh, very cool to have. Just throw it right back there. I kind of wish it was a little bit closer up if you're trying to charge your phone and still use it at the same time. Um, but still nice to have that nonetheless. I'm not going to complain. So uh, very cool to have that. Speaking of the back area there, the back seats in the Camaro are pretty small and basically unusable for just about anyone, including children. I'm five foot nine. The seat in the position that it's in, uh, you know, you have very, very limited leg room for very, very small individuals. Um, it's going to be tough to fit just about anyone back there. Trunk space in the Camaro is actually pretty good. So it's really deep and it's very long. Uh, it's not extremely wide, but it's actually a very usable trunk and uh, it's larger than I was expecting. All right, so so we're go for a drive. Uh, the new Chevrolet key here is really nice and slim, has a nice weight to it. Anyway, of course, it's a keyless start. You just leave that in your pocket, hit the engine start button, and it starts right up. from the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS. The first thing that I noticed is this is probably the easiest clutch I've ever used in my life. It's like super easy to get this car started. And as a, you know, for someone that's a first time manual driver, this would really be a great car to learn on, I think, because it's very forgiving, very, very easy. The other thing that I noticed right off the bat is uh, the visibility hasn't changed in this car. You know, it's it's just as bad as the fifth gen. And I mean, I think that they said they actually talked to customers and customers didn't have a problem with the visibility. So they left it as it is because it gives you those awesome looks from the outside. And from the inside here, it's very different sensation as well, because it feels like you're driving around in a tank or something with very high door sills and everything is just very uh, aggressive feeling. You know, even me, I mean, I'm not a super tall person, but still, I gotta look out over the hood. Uh, you know, it's, everything is very high up here. The dashboard rises up very high. But yeah, I mean, you can hardly see out of the back, a uh, very small little narrow rear window. Um, but you know, it's nice because now you have the uh, rear park camera and you also have the blind spot monitoring. So between the two of those, you can, you know, have a pretty good idea of what's going on behind you and so uh, that kind of really helps a lot. Alrighty, so let's turn on to the straight road here and see how it does. <laughs> oh man, the back end's getting loose! <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Corvette and uh, 6.2 liter V8 and it sounds great and it has so much power and it really <laughs> it feels awesome so uh, 0 to 60 time for this car with the manual is 4.3 seconds uh, for the automatic it's 4 seconds some have even gotten a little less under 4 seconds 0 to 60 time which is just bonkers I mean those were supercar numbers just a few years ago and we're getting them out of you know a $40,000 Camaro it's just mind-blowing and uh, really really impressive and it feels every bit of that fast and you get all the drama of that back end dancing around uh, and <laughs> man this is fun <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun oh man and that's the first experience this is gonna be a really good day it's got lots of good punch too in the mid-range uh, I mean it gets up to speed really quick in any gear at any rpm really it's just oh man that torque Sounds really good too. Now this one doesn't have the dual mode exhaust, unfortunately, because this one will be getting sent off to get its own exhaust, um, but it sounds really great, even with the standard exhaust. Alrighty, let's see about another acceleration here, shall we? Oh, 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 yeah, this car, <laughs> you can get 
in trouble if you try and get overly ambitious. This thing is, uh, I have it in sport mode, but it's letting the back end get squirrely, and it makes it so exciting, though. Ooh, so anyway, we're on a back road now, and uh, just getting a feel for the handling here. So far, uh, what I feel is that the steering is a nice weight. Now, it's in the sport mode, which also stiffens up the steering weight and the effort, uh, but it feels really great. But man, this thing digs in, holy crap. So we're on the Alpha platform, which is the same as the wonderfully handling uh, ATS and CTS Cadillacs. And so uh, it just, it really, I mean, this car is now two inches shorter as well, so all that helps to contribute to making this car a little more lively in corners. Another acceleration, because why not? <laughs> okay, it got in on the power there that time, because I'm uh, getting a little wheel spin, but... <laughs> Man, this thing! Ooh. Anyway, so we're going around these corners here, and a little bit of a bumpy road as well, and it's really composed. Um, it just dies into corners, that's what I can tell, is it's just so eager and so balanced and just so happy around corners that's the big news just so happy wow this thing is impressive honestly i mean first impression this feels like the new Corvette, like going around corners. It's, I mean, obviously there's a little bit more weight to it, but it has gone on a big diet as well. This is right around 3,700 pounds or so. So, uh, you know, it's right up there. It's just about as light as the Mustang now. So it's, it was all, it used to always be the heavier one. Now that's not the case. This thing's been on a diet and it is definitely showing. This is so much more lively in corners than the previous version. One thing about this shifter that I can say is uh, it has that same uh, one to four skip shift thing for fuel economy which is a little annoying you can change that and you know modify so it doesn't do that uh, but from the factory it has that uh, and uh, but it's okay because you just rev over 2000 and then you're good get that awesome rev matching too that uh, is really nice this car also has brembos that are uh, very confidence inspiring do a great job of slowing you down uh, but man this car you don't need to slow down much because it just handles it so well it handles everything so well another really cool thing is you know you have the heads-up display in this car which is really great to have um, especially whenever you're bombing down back roads because it gives you your rpm it gives you your speedometer and it also gives you the g meter right there built in so uh pretty cool to have all that right up in front of your windshield there one slightly negative thing i can say now that i'm slowing down here a little bit uh, is that the uh, throttle is a little twitchy almost i don't know if it's just the way it's calibrated or what but there's like there's some dead space and then it like starts pulling like a freight train so it's like there's this weird vagueness about it um that i don't know is i mean i'm in sport mode i don't know if it's because of the drive mode i don't know uh, if it's just this one or what the deal is with that but it uh, definitely, it's kind of strange how there's like some dead play, like that's me hitting the gas pedal and it's not doing anything. And then you go and then it kicks in. It's kind of strange. Um, that's the only thing I can say that's uh, a little odd, but otherwise this thing is just amazing. I think if the throttle was was perfectly synced up with everything else, then uh, this would be 100%, 10 out of 10, amazing. That little disconnect um, kind of keeps you guessing a little bit, and uh, I think it keeps the back end a little more lively because it instantly like kicks in whenever you're trying to be a little more uh, progressive and gradual. Uh, it doesn't get that message because of the gas pedal, and so it uh, kind of takes the engine by surprise too. But it certainly keeps you on your toes, so even if it's deliberate, I like it. Other things that I've noticed while I've been driving, the Bose sound system uh, is great, and it's got tons of bass if you like that as well. Obviously, you can dial that back if you want as well, but uh, lots of bass feels really good and uh, a really high-quality sound system, I think. Um, and uh, otherwise, though, you know, it's, it's pretty nice and quiet in here. It's pretty refined. You get a little bit of road noise. I mean, these roads are a little bit on the rougher side, um, but it's not, you know, vault-like quietness, uh, but it, it's pretty pretty good I gotta say you know and even whenever I'm not you know driving like my hair's on fire I'm just you know cruising along at a you know slightly spirited pace now and it just it's so effortless it just does it all with ease uh, you know it's just like okay what else do you have for me you know I mean even decreasing radius corners like that one is like tighter 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 and it's just like okay keep going it's no big deal it handles it all without a sweat and it's really impressive you know but it still has the playfulness to it um, you know and it gets the back end out and it gets uh, a little bit uh, loose so that it actually keeps you on your toes it you have to drive this car still you know it's not gonna drive itself but um, it's <laughs> 
it's so rewarding whenever you do drive it. It just, it really loves to work with you, and it's just such a willing companion. It's, uh, I love this thing. I mean, I own a Mustang. I would much rather go through a back road in one of these than my Mustang, for sure. Even the GTs or anything like that. I mean, I haven't driven a Shelby yet, so maybe that would change my mind, but uh, this is really impressive. They've elevated their game, of course, with the interior here and the exterior. Everything is just... Chevy has brought it. They have brought it well. And um, yeah, <laughs> now it's up to everyone else to try and catch up to them because this is uh, the new benchmark in my opinion. Just does not get much better than this. I can't imagine the ZL1s and the Z28s of the future are going to just, I don't even know. But this is just so much fun on the streets. You know, it's enough power to have fun with without getting immediately thrown in jail in the first three seconds of driving it. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's fun at legal speeds as well. That's the really impressive thing. A lot of cars are track monsters and they're impressive in their own way, but this is impressive even at regular speeds and it's fun at regular speeds. And that's something that's not as easy to do for a lot of car companies. So uh, really impressive, a very well done job. And um, yeah, so let's go hop in the automatic. All right, so we're in the automatic version now, which as you can see has a very nice red leather trim in addition to the red exterior. Really a nice combination, I must add. Um, but uh, you know, we have the automatic here and uh, it looks very much like the same shift you get in the automatic Corvette. The same 8-speed uh, transmission that's uh, supposedly pretty quick to shift. And so we got it into manual mode here. And we got the paddles now that we have uh, that were, you know, where the rev matching paddles were in the manual. All right, so let's see how the automatic accelerates. Wheel spin! <laughs> It's pretty quick here, you know, I'm in the track mode and it, it shifts pretty well, I gotta say. It's uh, pretty quick. It's not as fast as, you know, some of the other dual clutches and things like that out there, but for an 8-speed automatic, it's pretty good, I gotta say. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. Obviously, I love manuals, and I think anyone that enjoys a manual will go for the manual. And it's great they still have that option. Uh, this automatic is great for those that, of course, their situation necessitates that they want uh, an automatic or because, you know, they want to go drag racing, something like that. Because this is, you know, the fastest one, zero to 60, and of course in the quarter mile times as well. So, uh, you know, it does have the faster straight line performance. Uh, and it's fun, you know, but I think I still prefer shifting myself. Uh, this is good, but it's not fast enough for me to not miss the manual. Just cruising along now, though, in the standard drive mode here, we're in sport, and just cruising down the road. It's, you know, it's really good. It's quick with figuring out what you want to do. So, like, I'm just... I just gave a little bit of gas and it immediately downshifted twice, gave me the power I was looking for. So it's it's great in the automatic mode and I would suggest probably just leaving it in that. The car will figure out what you want to do quick enough. You don't have to bother with the paddles. Um, and so, you know, it's a it's a really good transmission. You know, I, I kind of, it seems to feel exactly the same as the 8-speed automatic Corvette that I reviewed. Um, it's It could use a little more speed, but it's pretty good. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, either way, you can't go wrong. I mean, because you still have the same fantastic handling and either car, uh, the same great look, same great interior. All right, so that's it for all my impressions on both the automatic and manual version of the new 6th gen Camaro here. Really an amazing car. I can't believe how much this car has blown me away today. So anyway, uh, huge, huge thanks once again to Tom Henry Chevrolet and Tom Henry Racing for hooking up with this awesome opportunity to review both of these cars for you guys today. So if you're interested in getting one of these, especially one of the early ones, they have one of the best allocations in the country. I think they're getting 16 in, they said, in the near future and many more to follow after that so I mean lots and lots of cars to choose from and uh, you know so definitely check out the links in the description below and uh, tell them that I sent you and uh, you know they'd be ha more than happy to help you guys out to uh, get one of these yourself so anyway thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time take care